Hello chess friends, hello chess lovers, my name is Amaike Chiku and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to checkmate with the rook. First, draw a line in your mind from h8 to g8 and then extend that line from f8, e8, d8, c8, b8 and a8. If, you're, if you place a rook or queen on that line, the black king will be in checkmate. The rook can go to a8, which is the checkmating move. Just like so. From a4, to make a checkmate on the black king, I can move my rook from a4 to a8, and I make a checkmate. This is how to make a checkmate with the rook. Looking at the second position, it is not necessarily to drive the king to the corner of the board. In some cases, the edge is sufficient. Now, this is the example to some cases where you don't have to drag the black king to the edge of the board. So then, let's take for example here now. If you draw a line from a8 to e8, you notice that you can put your rook on a8 to make a checkmate. So how can I make a checkmate here by admitting a, a check first, then you can now have a checkmate if possible. So first of all, I move my rook to this square. Now, to make a checkmate, all I need to do is move my rook from this square to a8 square, and the black king is checkmated. It has no other square to go to. If you have been following my previous video, I used to call these squares in between the king shared squares. So, on this particular rank, the rook administers a check and gives the black king checkmate. So thank you for watching this particular video. I believe you've learned something from this video about how to checkmate with the rook. This checkmate with the rook are very, very um, popular than other kind of checkmate. Checkmate with the rook, checkmate with the queen, and with your king in support of it is most of the popular end games you have generally in chess. So if you pay more attention on checkmate with the rook, with time you can add up other kind of checkmates. Thank you and have a wonderful day.